Welcome to this demonstration of ODL Live and how it addresses the Non-Emergency Medical Transportation or NEMT scheduling problem, also known as Non-Emergency Patient Transportation Services or NEPTS in the UK. The NEMT scenario is a common scheduling challenge involving the transportation of people, some with specific medical requirements, from one location often but not always their home, to another location, usually a medical facility or hospital. Here we can see Sarah at home. She is a patient who has an appointment this morning at a medical facility. Like many others, she relies on non-emergency medical transportation to help her access the care she needs and which can handle her wheelchair. Here is Michael, also at home and waiting for transportation to the hospital. Sarah has an appointment at 11.30. Her drop-off time window is set to between 11 and 11.20, giving her 10 minutes to get from the vehicle to the location of her appointment within the hospital. Michael also has an appointment time window of 11 to 11.20. His appointment is at a different medical facility. In order to meet all the target destination times, ODL Live will generate routes that follow a series of rules. Rule 1. The driver cannot park up and wait with a passenger on board for longer than a predetermined limit. Rule 2. The driver takes breaks only when no passengers are on board. Rule 3. Passengers can only be on board for a maximum amount of time. The ODL Live optimization algorithm must allocate passengers to vehicles, decide on the stop sequence and schedule breaks to prevent waiting with passengers on board. It does this using pickup time optimization, using a combination of the target time for the job, either the pickup time or the drop off time, and the limit on how long a patient can be on board, which may mean that the algorithm needs to delay the driver prior to a pickup in order to keep to onboard and waiting time limits. In this example, the vehicle is available at 10 and is located 20 minutes away from the nearest patient, Michael. There is a 40 minute maximum onboard time limit. Let's look at two potential scenarios where both passengers have drop off times. In scenario one, the vehicle leaves as soon as it is available reaching Michael at 10.20. It then goes on to pick up Sarah at 10.30 before driving to her drop-off location. Sarah's drop-off time is 11, but the vehicle gets there at 10.40, meaning that it will have to wait for 20 minutes before dropping off Sarah at 11 and then driving to Michael's appointment and dropping him off at 11.10. This means that Michael is on board for a total of 50 minutes, which breaks the 40 minute maximum allowed. Scenario two uses ODL Live's pickup time optimization algorithm to place a delay at the start of the route before picking up any passengers. In this second scenario, the vehicle is again available at 10, but instead of setting off straight away, it waits at its starting location for 20 minutes before picking up Michael at 10.40, 20 minutes later than scenario one. The vehicle then picks up Sarah at 10.50 and drops her off at 11 as soon as it arrives and finally drives to Michael's appointment and drops him off at 11.10 meaning that Michael is on board for 30 minutes, which is well within the 40 minutes permitted. These example scenarios only included four locations or two pairs, but are complex enough to schedule by hand. The more pick up and drop off locations there are, the more complex the task becomes, which is where the power of ODL Live comes in. So how does ODL Live do this? This model uses an Excel spreadsheet which contains the raw data 
a set of configuration settings and instructions on how to run this instance of the model. The first set of data in the model spreadsheet is the jobs sheet, listing all passengers as paired pickup and drop off locations. Two key fields here for the NEMT model are the target date time and the template field. The target date time field gives the date and time target for the pair. Whether this is for pickup or drop off is then determined by the value in the template field. Each pair has two quantity fields which combine with the capacity fields on the vehicles. The ambulatory or quantity zero and wheelchairs quantity one fields determine how many seats are required. For example, trip one highlighted has one ambulatory passenger and one wheelchair user, which adds up to three seats because a wheelchair takes up the equivalent of two seats due to accessibility issues. The next tab shows all vehicles available for scheduling these jobs. In this demonstration data, there are vehicles of three sizes, four seat, six seat and eight seat. The configuration settings set the rules and operating parameters. The first four fields here control how long the passenger can be on board based on how far away they are, the size of the pickup or drop off time window and the maximum amount of time a vehicle can wait for a passenger pickup or drop off with a passenger already on board. ODL Live can be run in three ways via a RESTful API web service, through a command line interface, or via the browser-based dashboard we will be using today. We upload the model to the dashboard, choosing an Excel file and naming the model. The model then runs automatically once imported. Once the model has run, we can start to explore the results from the dashboard, there are two ways to view the solution. The map view allows us to see all the routes or an individual route. Alternatively, we can download and view the solution in Excel. This has four sheets summarizing the solution, the routes and the stop details for each route. Let's look at one of these routes highlighted here in the Stop Details tab, which demonstrates the pickup time optimizer at work. Here we can see an interesting example. Line 325 shows that the vehicle is empty. It then picks up two passengers, drops one of them off, picks up a third passenger, and then drops off the two remaining passengers. Scrolling across to look at the times, we can see that the leave after time field has been filled in, indicating that the ODL Live system has scheduled the vehicle to delay setting off. So instead of trying to get to the first stop when it opens at 8.20, the vehicle doesn't leave until 9.08, picking up the first passenger closer to the end of their time window. This is in order to minimise the waiting time before dropping off the last passenger, indicated by the drop time of 09.49.59. Thank you for listening. For more information about ODL Live and the NEMT model, go to opendoorlogistics.com and subscribe to this channel for more videos.